Welcome to Today Matters, a short devotional in the Word of God. I'm Pastor Jeremy McGill, the campus pastor at our Rancho campus. For today's verse, I've selected a popular and powerful promise that believers often turn to when they're looking for God's direction for their lives. I know many of you are faced with some big decisions, decisions about your health, your finances, relationships, where you live, where your kids go to school, and even your careers. Open your Bibles and turn with me to Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 through 6. It reads, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He will make straight your paths. The promises found in the Word of God are true and trustworthy. God's promises will never fail, provided we listen and obey to the conditions of God's promises. A key word or theme in the book of Proverbs is wisdom. We typically think of wisdom as the ability to use knowledge the right way, which seems to be pretty straightforward. However, in the Bible, in the Word of God, wisdom is a far deeper meaning. The way God sees wisdom is a matter of the heart and not the mind alone. There is worldly wisdom, and then there's the wisdom that can only come from our Heavenly Father. Here in our verse today, King Solomon is telling us not to trust in our own understanding or our capacity to figure out life on our own, but rather trust God with our hearts as we go through life making our daily decisions. In order to receive the promise that God will make our path straight and help us in our daily decisions, we must follow the conditions of the promise. And in this case, we read that we must, in all our ways, submit to God. The first condition of the promise to receive God's guidance is that we take time to learn God's truth. The will of God can be found in the Word of God, and the only way to know His will is to take time to study the Bible. When we set out to not only understand the Word of God, but also receive the words found in Scripture within our hearts, our hearts will change and our godly character will grow and further develop a desire to submit to God. The second condition of the promise to receive God's guidance is that we must obey God's Word. Once we take the time to learn the Word of God, we also must put it into action and obey. In our verse today, it says that, and He will make our path straight. That is the promise. But in order to have that promise come to life, we must obey the Lord in all our ways. Or in other words, submit to God and trust Him with all the actions and decisions we make. Look what it says in Romans chapter 12. Apostle Paul describes in detail what it means to be a living sacrifice, totally submitted to trusting and obeying in God. In verse 2, it says this, Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. You see, we must trust in the Lord enough to let go of how we think things should go and submit ourselves to studying and applying God's word so that our minds can be renewed. God is looking for us to completely put our trust in him, to exclusively rely on him, not because it makes logical sense, but because we have a deep desire to trust him with our hearts and lean not on our own wisdom. When we submit our will to God, we remove our wants and desires and allow God through his word to teach us how to be more and more like him. So be intentional and set aside time to submit to God through the reading and then the obeying of God's word. Take a moment today to talk with God and surrender your will to him and allow God to transform the way you think and what you desire. Do this and watch God perfectly orchestrate each decision you have to make. Do this today because today matters.